trying on a uh, Gata in the dressing room, one of the displays. And I guess he never took it off. He put it on and put a sweater over it. And um, then the, then the <laughs> store cleared out. And the woman was like, I think that kid stole that, that shirt. And I was, I was like, what? Really? So I walked out and um, like I couldn't find him on Fairfax at all. And then I saw him walking back to the sunglass store. And I was on, I was by Sal Shop. Yeah. So I just started running. I started running towards him, and then he he, he booked uh, to the alley. <laughs> and then I chased him all the way. <clears throat> like I saw him go on Melrose, so I was on Melrose. And then he started to hide somewhere, I guess. <laughs> so Can't hide from my hiding, mic, dog. Started hiding, he said, and uh, <clears throat> not like I couldn't find him. I was asking like kid robot dudes if they saw some kid in the hoodie walking around. So I chased him all the way through Melrose, uh, then I lost him, then I was walking back, and I saw him on Rosewood and Hayworth. Yeah. So I started running towards him. He had his sweater off at this time, like, wrapped in a bundle. Yeah. And I was just chasing him, um, and I thought, like, I just figured he might just try and walk back, so I stopped, like, I was, try I was like, trying to be on Ninja, and, like, I was hiding by the fence, <laughs> 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 waiting for him to come back. Yeah. Um, and then some dude, I, I forgot his name. Uh, he drove up and was like, yo, are you chasing some kid right now? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, get in my car. Like, I'll show you where he's at right now. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, so so I got in his car, um, and he took me to where he thought he was. But then we saw him walking around the corner. Yeah. <clears throat> so we stopped at a light, and he's like, right when I stop, just get the fuck out and just start chasing him. I was like, I was like yeah, that's what I intend on doing. So, I, uh, so we get the light, I bolted out of the car, he was walking, asking some lady something, and then he saw me running towards him, um, but it was too late, like, he, he got, like, maybe, like, a good 10 feet, and then that's when I, like, I grabbed his neck and I threw him down. Yeah. Onto the mud. <laughs> <laughs> we were on the mud, dude, like, I'll take a picture of my pants and stuff, they were terrible. We were in, mud, we were in the mud, and, like, I, had a, I held his face down, <laughs> the mud, and I was like, I was like, where the fuck is that shirt? And yeah. Like, to my sweater, to my sweater, and he's like, "Please don't call the cops." And then the guy that was helping me out, he's like, "You want me to call the cops?" And I was like, "Yeah, call the cops." <laughs> um, but uh, I ended up, we ended up not calling the cops, and I made his ass walk all the way back to the shop to give Umi the shirt. And um, like, there were a ton of people in the shop, and I was all muddy, and he was all muddy, and like, then I yelled out, "I was like, this is what happens when you fucking steal from us." And, like, his hands were all bloody, I guess, because he got, like, his arm hit something. Oh, oh yeah, like... my God. <laughs> <laughs> did you, uh, did you recognize the kid from before? What's up? Did you recognize the kid from before? Yeah, dude, he, he's an idiot. He took a picture on photo booth before he stole. <laughs> no way. I swear to God, like, I'm going to post it up. It's, I should just post it up and be like, hey... Dude, you got it. Send me that photo. All right, where? Bye. Light up.